Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Please be seated. Well, as you all know, um, I came down with COVID. Uh, it was actually last last week, and uh, I'm still not feeling a hundred percent tested positive. And tomorrow I'm going to HCC, uh, Holyoke Community College, to get an official. Um, swab check uh, and so I think this is one of the reasons that there is a little bit of a distance and and people are not here today because of the COVID. Um, today we will be celebrating um, a quiet mass. Our organist is not feeling that well and out of concern for the spreading of the COVID um, as she decided that today that uh, she would not be playing. So I ask that you please follow along. And John, I will call upon you, if you can, from, from the pew to offer today's readings. Uh, today is the solemnity of the Christian family, it is one of the five solemnities that we celebrate in the Polish National Catholic Church. So as we begin each Mass, let us turn unto the altar of God and begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us turn unto the altar of God and make an examination of our consciences. For penance, for the confession that you made, for the next three nights, I ask that you take a copy of the bulletin with you and reread and reflect upon the readings that are prescribed by the church for this solemnity. And now let us recite together the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Whoever does not provide for relatives and especially family members has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. So then, while we have the opportunity, let us do good to all, but especially to those who belong to the family of the faith. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory. To God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. 
you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Please be seated. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, you have blessed each of us with the gift of family. <clears throat> and through our family life, we may learn to love and care for others. Open our eyes to recognize in all people the bonds of kinship. May we unselfishly serve them who with us have been made co-heirs with Christ. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. John, if you would. A reading from the book of Genesis. Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy, and it shall be well with you. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Lo, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, lowliness, meekness, and patience, forbearing one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgive each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as you teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subject to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Observe, my child, your father's bidding, and reject not your mother's teaching. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year for the feast of the Passover. And when he, Jesus, was 12 years old, <clears throat> they went up according to custom. And when the feast ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know of it, but supposing him to be in a co company, they went a day's journey. And they sought him among their kinfolk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it <clears throat> that you sought me? <clears throat> did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. To you, my dear <clears throat> brothers and sisters, <clears throat> as I stated, today is the solemnity of the Christian family. This was one of the first solemnities that our blessed Lord is, um, that I should say, uh, based upon the teachings of our Lord, this is one of the earliest solemnities that the first bishop of the Polish National Catholic Church the most reverend Francis Claude established in the year of 1907. Bishop Hodder was a very spiritual individual and he had great insight. And one of the reasons that he had great insight is because of his faith and belief in the Word of God. They say that in Holy Scripture, you can find an answer to just about anything in life. If you're happy, fearful, sad, anxious, depressed, sick, ill, or all, the complete multitude of all our understandings of human nature. Today, we read about Jesus when he was 12 years of age. Not much is known about the life of Jesus. We know the facts that led up to his birth. And we had a couple of stories that we find in Matthew about the visitation of the Magi. But besides that, the next thing that we hear is when Jesus, Mary and Joseph went up to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. It's interesting that after this story of Jesus when he was 12, the next 18 years there is nothing mentioned about the Lord. All we read is that Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. The next that we hear of Jesus 
is when he approaches John the Baptist to be baptized in the River Jordan. And so, like I said, our late Prime Bishop Francis Hoger chose the Christian family as one of the pillars of Christianity. And he wanted to emphasize upon the importance of a family. There are many types of family. We have our immediate family and we have our church family. And the rules basically remain the same. We are called upon by following the example of Joseph and Mary of being righteous before the Lord. That is the most important. We who have been baptized into the faith are called upon to center our lives on the teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to strive daily to the best of our ability to live with the commandments and the decrees of God. Jesus said, I have not come to change the law, but rather to fulfill it. And so if we look in the Old Testament, when we see the example of righteous people in a family that were led by God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we are first to call, we're first called upon to be righteous before the Lord. And even though we stumble every single day, we turn to the Lord for his blessings and for his guidance. One of the other things that we learn from the Christian family is that there are responsibilities and there is accountability. And so, as a member of an immediate family, we are called upon to live the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to the best of our ability and to let other people, as Jesus said, let your light so shine before other men that they may give praise and glory unto, unto God. And so we are a, a standard and an example to the members of our media family. When we talk of a church family, it is a family of where there is not necessarily a father or mother who is in charge, but rather we, we talk of Jesus being the bridegroom in the bride, which is his church. And so just as we have responsibilities to set forth in our immediate family, we are also called upon that in a church family that we also seek the righteousness of God. And we remember that it is not any single one of us, including the priest or the bishop, who is in charge of the family, but rather Jesus Christ. And so just as <clears throat> we gather for Holy Mass, one of the first things that we do is to approach God, our Heavenly Father, and Jesus Christ, the Bridegroom of the Church, of which we are all members. And we all make an examination of our conscience, by which we search our hearts, and we confess that we have fallen short of our duties and responsibilities as a Christian to not only our immediate family, but also to a church family. You know, I just want to um, add that yesterday, men and women of our parish gathered to make pierogi. I heard it went very well. Um, we were able to make quite a bit. And so, if you just take a moment and think about the people that gathered yesterday. They gathered in a mutual concern. They gathered in mutual respect and fellowship with one another because they all worked for that one goal. First of all, not only to glorify God, but also to be true representatives of a family of God. We are told throughout Holy Scripture that we have been adopted through the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we are co-heirs with him to the kingdom of God. And so, may we on the solemnity of the Christian family search our hearts, be strengthened by the word, 
be led by the Holy Spirit so that every single day we might be the kind of people that God would want us to be as a family of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the name of Jesus be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God of God, light of mind, true God of true God, begotten and not made of one being with the Father. suffering and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and its variants. We pray not only for those who are ill at this time, but we also pray for the families, that they may be strengthened by God's grace and protected from all sickness as well as all evil, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We are grateful for the doctors, nurses, first responders, and all health care workers who strive daily to serve us and to help others in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray this day for all those who have been affected by Hurricane Ian. That and pray not only for their well-being, for those who have lost everything, but what we also remember in prayer all those that have lost their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray this day for all abused and neglected children of our world, as well as all abused and neglected animals in our world, and for all victims of violence, including those in Ukraine and around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Polish National Catholic Church, for all the parishes in our church as well, and especially, holy name of Jesus, that the peace and blessing of Almighty God might rest upon all the congregants and their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal Father, receive the prayers that we offer to you this day as we gather on the solemnity of the Christian family. And through your grace, dear Lord, not only hear our prayers, but fulfill those things for which we ask in Christ. We pray this day. Amen. Let us pray. Grandchildren are the crown of old men and the glory of children 
in their parentage. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, may be for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may be for us our spiritual drink. O Lord God, we ask that you receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you this day. With humble and contrite hearts, come Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your most holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they whose memories we honor here on earth intercede for us in heaven through the same Christ our Lord, we pray this day. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and the praise and glory of his name for our Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty Father, <clears throat> accept this offering from your whole family. Bless all your children with an obedient spirit. May each home which nurtures them be an image of your kingdom and the care of their parents a likeness of your love. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his teaching and ministry, Jesus showed us how we are to live, giving our lives in service to you and to all people. On this solemnity of the Christian family, we seek, dear Lord, your peace and blessing. Still hearing your word in our world today, we strive to follow the example of Jesus and set our hearts on the world to come. Therefore, we join this day with the voices of angels and dark angels with all the saints in the entire church. And we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. This morning, let us turn to page 88 of our Mass Service Booklets, 
as we offer the Eucharistic prayer number four, which is the canon of the Dutch Old Catholic Church. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him your word was made flesh, in him the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us. He broke the power of darkness over us. He took our guilt upon himself. He reconciled us to you and unlocked the new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life, he has revealed your love to us. He, he humbled himself and became obedient even to death on a cross and by rising received, restored our life. On the night in which he was betrayed to undergo that suffering, which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands and lifting his eyes to heaven to you his heavenly father he gave thanks he blessed the bread broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body which is given for you When supper had ended, he took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, All of you take and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, <clears throat> the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which for you and for many shall be shed unto the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim. Your resurrection, we celebrate. Your return in glory, we await. Therefore, Father, we remember his saving passion, his glorious resurrection, and his exaltation at your right hand. We await his coming in the fullness of majesty. We here set forth the sign of our faith in him, who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit the giver of life and holiness upon us and upon these gifts, the bread and wine of eternal life. Holy Spirit, come to us. Fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice through which we offer ourselves to you, so that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be a sharing in the body and blood of your Son. May all who receive these gifts from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with all your saints and chosen ones, with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the Mother of our Lord, with your prophets and apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, and with all who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Bless your church throughout the world, grant it unity and peace. Renew the earth according to your promise. Remember all peoples and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worshiping and praising your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father. <clears throat> Forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now turn to page 95 and continue Holy Mass. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Please be seated. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day, and your mercy keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because one bread. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. And now let us greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be unto you. And now. Please be seated and let us continue to pray together the First Communion Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, we will not be distributing the Holy Eucharist. And so, in its place, I ask that you please pray along with me the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and into my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Lord, may we possess with pure hearts that which we have taken as food, and may the gifts we have received this day bring us healing and strength now and forever. Amen.
my child, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments for length of days and years of life and abundant welfare will they will give you. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as a family united in the Eucharist, we entrust to you our loving care and corrections, the members of our families, both near and far, supply their needs, guide their steps, keep them safe in body and soul, and may your pet peace rest upon us always. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and our one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, my dear sisters and my dear brothers. And may the grace of God be ever with us. Thanks be to God. Let us go forth this day and proclaim that indeed we are a member of the family of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated for another moment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And he does not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of our late departed loved ones, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.